Well, good morning. It's Friday, June 16th on the PCT. Much cooler night or, or end day so far. So you got two shirts on. Well, ten, uh, <laughs> two o'clock in the morning, I, I was dreaming again, had these wild dreams that I'm tenting next to somebody and he's saying, hey, let's get up. We'll get, let's go hiking. So I get up eat start packing <clears throat> get ready to go and now it's about three maybe even 3 30 because that's going slow and i step outside and it was like i had mad cow disease i was stumbling tripping on everything i finally fell cut my forearm real bad i hit a tree and then it my, I can't see if you see that, knee hit the tree, and then I fell off that. I can't see myself, but I hit my ear, and my ear hurt the worst. It was bleeding like hell. I can't see where I hit cut it, though. <laughs> and I banged my thigh on a rock, and my elbow same elbow and knee that i hit on a rock two or three days ago <laughs> i swear i even on trail today it's like i can't i have no balance i don't know if i got up too early or i have mad cow disease it's crazy i actually fell a while back i was jumping a log and i don't know what i did and i didn't land in the trail I landed in the bushes <laughs> Holy crap. <clears throat> and it's probably the most beautiful day to hike and get some miles in. My ears hurting though. But I gotta, when I get this water source, clean them up. And put some neosperin, sparring. Because they'll be covered in dirt here shortly. And that's twice I banged that knee bone, so it's hurting. Well, what is wrong with me? I don't know if I accidentally mixed some drugs. <sighs> I've never been clumsy. I got great balance. It's like I can't even... St I, I stepped off the trail several times. <clears throat> yeah, some guy came by right as I was wiping the blood up off all of me. And... uh he goes, dude, you all right? You can see the blood everywhere. I said, I don't know, man. It just happened. You got mad cow disease. <laughs> he said I had like three gashes on my ear. I guess it could have been worse landing on rocks. But that's my story. It's always something. PCT. So anyway, back to the amazing story. It was just a, I don't know what it was. I, I saw something moving, but it wasn't a hiker. So anyway, I, it's not hurting me. The problem is, uh, I hadn't even really showed you. This California dirt is black. And it is like just, every step you make, just 
it's like baby powder. <laughs> it's black, it's dirty, dusty. I mean, you can stick a shovel with your pinky and it'd go all the way down. Uh, so, and the water is getting real limited. Like I'm carrying, right now I got a 10 mile water carry to the next water source. And I may camp there, I didn't want to because it'd only be another, let, well it'd be 11 miles, but I've actually hiked 13 and a half. <laughs> but anyway, I texted my friend Shirley, who I, I put a picture of her on Facebook yesterday. She told me to contact her if I needed anything. She lives in the area. And I told her I, was about, I might be ready for an off day. Because <laughs> this would be day six. And what's going to happen, uh, these cuts, and one of them's pretty nasty, uh, they're going to get infected. I already came in. I had a small cut in my hand, and it's already infected. You just can't keep anything clean. It's just so dirty. I mean, last night... Usually I carry baby wipes. Shit, I went through so many of those each night and I could only get half the dirt off of me. I used them up. So the last two nights, pretty much, I just go to bed with dirty legs, feet, face. You just can't afford the water you carried to use to clean yourself up. You got to drink it. <laughs> so anyway, she said she was going to check how she could meet me somewhere. And I told her I'd check tonight, too, when I get to my tent. And, uh, and then I need to reassess some things now. Another hiker just told me there's a uh, new fire in Belden. That'll be my second stop. I got Bernie, then Belden. And the trail's closed. Holy crap. Oh, there must be loggers out here. So anyway, I'm, I'm rattling, but uh, then I had another hiker tell me, you know, my whole goal is to go through the Sierras in September. And they're all saying with all these fires, it looks like it's going to be a bad fire year. And if you don't get to the Sierras before September, it could be all smoked in. And that will suck. So I'm not sure. I got to reassess everything. We'll see. I'm getting through them damn Sierras some way, somehow. This damn dust bowl, no cow, you kiss my butt. <laughs> Every hiker out here hates it. it. Just hates no cow. It's basically a wooded desert, sparsely wooded desert. All right, I rattled enough. See bye. Well, that stump look like it's got my name on it for a little break in the shade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Starting to get hot again. Well, I'm up high again, so.